In this episode, DaVinci Resolve, setting white balance quickly, go. I recently learned a way to quickly color correct footage. Here is a pretty extreme example of footage that has some white balance issues. I learned this over at a channel on YouTube called Learn Color Grading. It's got some very quality stuff over there. So again, this is attributed to them. I didn't invent this by any means, and I'm sure lots of other people know this, but again, as I'm learning color grading, this one was pretty helpful for me. So if I want to just get a, again, a quick color correction using the RGB curves, first thing I want to do is come over here and make sure that I have my qualifier selected. Then we're going to open up the RGB curves, just click on this icon here, which makes them larger and easier to work with. And then come over here and make sure that the gang custom curves is turned off, that it is not checked. If it is checked, you just click on it and the check will go away. So we wanna do that because we want to be able to manip manipulate each of the color channels independently, each of these curves here. Now, fortunately, despite the fact that I got the white balance way off on this footage here, fortunately I had the frame of mind to use a white balance uh, patch here. This is a color checker Passport by x -Rite, if you're curious about that. It is helpful if you can start your clips with this because then you can potentially make your process of grading and at least color correcting a lot easier. So all we need to do is get a sample from this patch right here and I just click on there. And you can see that shows us, obviously, we knew that just by looking at it, that there's a lot more red in this particular footage than there is green or blue. So the way this process works is you really just want to line up these dots vertically. We don't want to move them horizontally at all, just leave them where they are, but we want to get them lined up vertically. So I can use, you can use these squares here to sort of gauge the distance, and you can see this one is actually one, two, three lines above the center line, and the blue is pretty much on the center line. The green is a little bit closer to the top, but we can, we could probably meet all of them if we go up one and a half of the large squares or large lines. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and drag the red down. Again, we're not going to move horizontally, just vertically. So we just grab this dot, pull it down so that it's about one and a half lines above the center line. Same with the green. This one just needs to come down a little bit, not too much. And then the blue needs to come up. Whoops. Right in that area right there. And you can see already that our footage is looking a lot more neutral, a lot more like it's at a close starting point. Now, if you don't have the patch, the white balance patch, there are other things you can use. Anything that doesn't really have color, but is some black, white, or gray. Um, typically, you're gonna wanna look for a gray or a white, in my experience. That'll help you get at least your, you know, your highlights or your midtones balanced. So we could also use this uh, backdrop here, which is actually a white seamless paper. We just click on that and that gives us another set of points here. And you can see in this case that the red is still a little bit hotter than the green and blue channels. We might pull this blue up just a touch and maybe bring the red down a touch as well. So there you go. That is a quick way to do the color correction on your footage using the RGB curves in DaVinci Resolve. And again, if you haven't already seen the channel, learn color grading over at YouTube. It may be worth your time to go check it out, maybe subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk with you soon.